Welcome to the American Rambler here on the Bastion of Unfree Speech, better known as YouTube with your host Paul Grofton. I wasn't sure uh, what story to do today or stories, but I think it's best to do uh, several related stories um, about CRT, critical race theory, or more properly, critical gender theory which is actually a uh, way for communism. One of the first points that I want to make is that um, that the people that are asking for communism are the ones that have already made their wealth, such as, of course, AOC, uh, Kamala Harris, uh, Sanjay... Pichai, Susan Wojcicki, um, uh, Jack Dorsett, Mark Zuckerberg. They, but this is not the communism that they actually want. They want more like a Chinese-style communism, where those that are in the top leadership power are the ones that get to keep their wealth and get to keep their money and they get the decisions, they get to decide who gets the money, uh, who's going to get the wealth. One of the things that you're going to have to understand it, about uh, the Chinese Communist Party, there's only about 2,000 members. You can't just go sign up and, or say like you're part of the DNC. DNC, uh, the Democratic Nazi uh, Convention. Uh, the second part is all these feminists. Have you noticed that in the communist uh, propaganda, the uh, communist war rooms, there are no female-led leaders? The only time that you would see a female would be as a spy that used her sexuality to convert, uh, uh, such as uh, uh, such as Eric, uh, who the spy, the Chinese spy that shagged me, Swalwell. So, if you wanted leadership. You wanted those leadership roles, you're not going to get it. Another issue that you're going to see here uh, with critical gender theory is I think one of the reasons why women love socialism and communism so much, it gives them an in belt excuse on why they cannot succeed. I'm not saying that women cannot succeed, but those that are presenting or favoring communism uh, wanted to say, okay, if I cannot succeed, then everybody else around me cannot succeed. Okay? But if you see uh, capitalism, I'm not talking about unfettered capitalism. I do believe that is wrong as well. The U.S. tries to claim it's a managed system, uh, and it's managed by those who has the most money. And right now, that belongs to the DNC, the Democratic Na Nazi Convention. So that's not going to happen. Okay, so you have to be the top two thousand people in the Democratic Nazi Convention in order to in order to make the uh, in order to make the cut in order to be the millionaire or billionaire like Bernie uh, says so another pro-communist that has money which he doesn't want to share with you now here with capitalism and our share if you make that money, you can spread the wealth. You can spend the wealth however you please. 
uh, provided that you format it properly. You know, uh, that was interesting. We have all these billionaires like Bezos, Cuban, uh, uh, Cuban, who says, "Okay, I want to be." Uh, the first uh, civilian billionaire in space. But how many of those men are actually spending the money to feed the hunger the poor? Now, Cuba is undergoing a revolution, joining Hong Kong and Venezuela and Egypt. And who is the U.S. and the Democrat Nazi convention siding with of course they're siding with those that are in power which I think is rather funny because these were the same people that protested the Bush the Cheney's you know the war in Vietnam everything and now they feel free to send men to war to die to protect their business interest. Those that are in power uh, want to stay in power. And just remember this, even if you change it, <coughs> remember the lyrics from Won't Get Fooled Again by The Who? Uh, we'll be fighting in the streets with our children at our feet. And the morals that they worship will be gone. Yep, that's what they're doing now. And the men who spurned us on sit in judgment of all wrong. They decide and the shotgun sings the song. Okay. Meet the new boss, same as the old boss. In other words, it's not going to change. Whether you change the party, you change the system, either way. Power, power corrupts absolutely. And our founding fathers tried really hard to limit the power of the federal government. Okay, don't forget to check below for additional sites and additional videos. Not allowed here on the Bastion of Unfree Speech.